everyone, I hope you're well and having a good day. I am just out for my um, um, lunchtime walk and I don't know whether you can see or hear but it's actually raining. This is the first day for, um, well actually the first time in I cannot remember how many years I've actually worn a winter hat and this is a lovely little beanie hat that I got recently, it's so cute. So this is its maiden voyage and I have to say it's really keeping me really sheltered and warm because today in the UK, in England, it's quite wet as you can probably hear. I don't know if you can hear the rain but certainly it is raining at the moment and I was using my hood to shelter me a bit more as well but I thought so some verses came to mind as I was walking along here and I just thought oh well, I would share it. Um, so I'm not going to stay out here too long because I'm really getting wet but and I don't have an umbrella with me today. Um, uh, so I was just walking up here and sheltering under my hood and my hat and just feeling really quite cozy even in the rain and it's actually colder today um, it's been quite cold overnight and frost in some areas of the UK which is not unusual at this time of year but we haven't really had a lot of really cold weather and frost so far so anyway I came out here thought I'd use my new beanie hat as you can see this is actually a child size 9 to 12 age 9 to 12 girls hat but it fits me perfectly I'm so chuffed with it um, so yeah, as I was walking up here and I was thinking about the shelter of my hat, my coat, my well actually this is my dad's scarf that I've borrowed, um, but my hood, it, it just occurred to me um, that shelter is something that we all need um, we won't want to be out here in the cold and the rain all the time because that would not be good for us and we would freeze and uh, get ill um, <clears throat> and it brought to mind some verses in the bible from psalm 91 that talks about how god is our shelter there's so many verses in the bible that talks about how god is our shelter but i'll share this one that came to mind is from psalm 91 verse 1 and 2 it says those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High shall abide. Um, sorry, those who. Anyway, I'll put the post in there, but it talks about the shelter. Sorry, I've just completely forgotten it because I've got sidetracked because I'm getting really wet. But it talks about the shelter of the Most High, how God is our shelter, and how we can trust in Him, how when we abide in Him, abiding means being close to, um, having fellowship with, friendship, um, relationship. That's basically what abiding means, being part of, being in the presence of. So when we um, have... Uh, um, um, when we abide, when we have um, time in the presence of God, when we talk to God, it is abiding in his presence. And when we do that, he is like a shelter and we can trust in him and he will provide shelter for us. So this is uh, something that is very relevant for today, you know, in, in terms of what's going on in the world, all over the world, the political unrest, the COVID-19 um, stuff that's going on all around the world and restrictions and job losses and all sorts of chaos going on. What I would say to you is God is always our shelter. God is always a place where we can go for shelter and for security. He's always a place that we can retreat to, to trust in him when we trust in him and um, abide in him and abide in his presence and just talk to him you think well I, I've no idea what you're talking about when you say abiding in God's presence well God is with us all the time his presence is always here sometimes we're just not aware of it and sometimes we cultivate it more so as Christians we do we spend more time just talking to the God and to just talking to Jesus and asking Holy Spirit who is a part of God to just speak to us and we use reading the Bible as a way to get to know God because that's like his love letter to the whole world so yeah so you are able to dwell in the shelter of the most high and if you are not or you feel like you're not then I would encourage you just say Jesus please help me to shelter in your presence to abide in your shelter to know your shelter to be in that place of trust with you very simple prayer you don't need to be complicated or theological it literally is <clears throat> 
just a prayer from your heart and that's what counts something that is very uh, from your heart and genuine and I promise you God will answer that maybe not in the way they were expecting but he definitely will answer it so I just thought I would leave that thought with you for today and I'm going to go home now because I am getting pretty wet and uh, still enjoying it though I still like coming out in the in the wet um, now I've got my little wennies on and you know just being out in the fresh air and enjoying the different seasons the wet the dry the sun you know it's just great to enjoy it all so I will see you soon bye